More formally, hash p is the class of function problems of the form compute f, where f is the number of accepting paths of a non-deterministic Turing machine running in polynomial time. Unlike most well-known complexity classes, it is not a class of decision problems but a class of function problems. An NP problem is often of the form, are there any solutions that satisfy certain constraints? For example, are there any subsets of a list of integers that add up to zero? Are there any Hamiltonian cycles in a given graph with cost less than 100? Are there any variable assignments that satisfy a given CNF formula? The corresponding hash P problems ask, how many, rather than, are there any? For example, how many subsets of a list of integers add up to zero? How many Hamiltonian cycles in a given graph have cost less than 100? How many variable assignments satisfy a given CNF formula? Clearly, a hash P problem must be at least as hard as the corresponding NP problem. If it's easy to count answers, then it must be easy to tell whether there are any answers, just count him and see whether the count is greater than zero. One consequence of Toda's theorem is that a polynomial time machine with a hash p oracle can solve all problems in pH, the entire polynomial hierarchy. In fact, the polynomial time machine only needs to make one hash p query to solve any problem in pH. This is an indication of the extreme difficulty of solving hash p dash complete problems exactly. Surprisingly, some hash p problems that are believed to be difficult correspond to easy p problems. For more information on this, see hash p dash complete. The closest decision problem class to hash p is pp, which asks whether a majority of the computation paths accept. This finds the most significant bit in the hash p problem answer. The decision problem class p instead asks for the least significant bit of the hash p answer. The complexity class hash p was first defined by Leslie Valiant in a 1979 article on the computation of the permanent, in which he proved that permanent is hash p dash complete. Larry Stockmeyer has proved that for every hash p problem p there exists a randomized algorithm using Oracle for SAT, which given an instancer of p and epsilon greater than zero returns with high probability a number x such that the runtime of the algorithm is polynomial in a and one epsilon. The algorithm is based on leftover hash lemma.